back. Remember, be kind. Recycle. And if you have to throw away a human, make but, sure you put it in the right bin. Yeah, old people go brown. Yeah. Green people are... Or white people are... Blah, blah. <laughs> uh, young people. Young people. Young white people. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, was, I wasn't trying to say that. I just... It's just I was trying to jump to young, but... What was Edna doing you back there? I guess we're just going to be in these trash cans for a while. Harsh. Harsh. Shouldn't we go help? Damn. Nice. Double slap. She double slapped helmets, too. She's like, fuck that. Where's the DeLorean? Yeah. Where is the DeLorean anyway? I have to run to my secret lab. You have a secret lab? As in Clara Clayton? What? Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so yeah. <laughs> That's right. Third movie reference. Oh. They're giving her the double hand. Hey, you. You don't, you don't touch my wife. Oh! oh double decker. God damn. No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's, she's kind of crazy. First woman touched the penis. Ah. Yep. Yeah. Touched penis. Yep. Kind of like what's happening right there. Yeah. PDA. Oh, snap. Fight them. Guess you're right. She could slap two. He could knock over the other two. In that'll one punch. Yeah, that'll like. be fine. Up, 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 up. Looks like coast is clear. I was hoping that when they talked, the lids would go up and down. Looks like the coast is clear. Why? Well, from what we rely on the Santa Park title, you help me rebuild the time. Your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to nineteen thirty one. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley and see fix the time machine? Exactly. I'm worried. Things work out of point and you won't even notice my fault. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real doc. See? I'm making progress already. See you soon, Martin. I don't know. I kind of like his hairdo. Oh. You know one thing I can say that was kind of cool, though? Huh. I was worried about, um... How, um, doc sounded. Yeah. Like, at the beginning of this, he sounded really... He kind of had that old, like, I'm... Like, you know, the old sound. He's yeah. Like, it sounded a lot older. But I'm glad that he actually is a lot... Like, he sounds a little more, uh energized you know like and like his voice is back to where like even when i saw in these last things like you know he's energized about what he's talking he's about not coming back, you know. what are you talking about emmett without me to guide him he's almost useless she found him quick found oh him. that was, was easy a miserable failure who never finished anything but with me to inspire him look at what we built You know what? Fuck you. You inspired him to do bad things, bitch. Yeah. Like, the real life, nobody cares about that. Yeah, you've inspired him, all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. Dorks? I wouldn't expect a delinquent. I like the tight eye on her. Uh, yeah. Uniform. Those were the friggin' medications that they were trying yeah. to put into his brain. He can do. You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time traveling DeLorean. And a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide Damn. him. Damn. Yeah, well, he did that too. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, yeah. It, it even it in the first episode you see Marty come in and the can of dog food opens itself and then dumps out an iron bowl. Oh shit. Not the only inspiration of Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the nineteenth century. Sweetness. Yes. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. So? Huh. Oh. Little ADD can go a long way. So basically all her defense is, he needs me. This is like, okay, this is right. very classic you signs know. of very dangerous relationships you should never have. First we're gonna rock, Sweet. then we're gonna roll. We got it out, go, go, let, let it go. go. His hair is long now, too. Oh, I think he got the gel out. 
No, it, his hair is six months grown. Oh. Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months? My family fortune had a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. Oh, wow. Libyan nationals? Don't do this. You need help. Punch her. Just oh, blow out your exhaust for it, dear. Now that I'm escaping from the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... What? How long have you been waiting for? A couple of minutes, maybe? That's true. I sent the repair time service to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Well, I'm not sure there's no need to consider this. I'll be just a minor discombobulation of the time service. Uh. Here, what's this? Close for our trip. We can't have you tracing around 1931 and that. You know, I like how like he's already on board with yeah. playing all his plan stuff. And the version of him that we're doing this for is totally going to get rewritten. Oh. So, at this point, because yeah. of how the, the Dorian works, this Marty can exist still. Yeah. And this Doc Brown will exist or I, won't exist. I again, don't so. know. This is really confusing. I'm assuming when they fix the timeline, though, that he'll, like, convert into old regular Doc. Hmm. I'm hoping so. Because that Doc has a lot more experience with the time machine and stuff. Well, maybe that's why they're doing this. Like, if they ever want to continue this, they have a Doc that, like, is fresh. So he's like, I don't fucking know. Yeah, maybe. But his wife and his kids never happened. Oh, uh, I guess. You know. Maybe you can still and, meet her. And Clara Clayton fell into Clayton's Ravine. Oh, but they can't fly. For August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. Yeah, so he had to replace the wheels with regular wheels, I bet. Oh. Because he had to use that one uh, flying one to get over the wall. Oh, yeah. So that was like a whole episode ago. I can't even remember. That was a while back. Well, I meant episode in this. Oh, that yeah, was Our the, episodes, that was like, it's been like it's a couple dozen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, uh, so far, like, I can see, like, I would have hated this thing to be released and, like, like, kind of get how, uh, Telltale does it now, episodically. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I would be punching people, because I'd be so, like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. Teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. He's so he's sabotaging himself. Alright. Uh huh. What about it? Yeah, cool. Right. I mean, what do you like? There's all. What about it? This is where she first touched my penis. I haven't thought about this. No, no, no. Remember, they d barely held hands. Did you remember how you said Maybe that? Maybe on their fifth or sixth or seventh date. 25th anniversary? Yeah. Public enemy. Why you dirty rat? But you're going to now. You're going to. That's what we're here for. Remember? I think. Right. Of course. The film that was supposed to set off. I thought Edna was older than him in this, the 1931. She's off doing stuff for the soup kitchen and stuff. I thought, well, she doesn't have to be that old to do, to volunteer with that shit. I suppose. Shit is this? It's just like I remember it. Only dirtier. Oh, the old out. Come on now, Doc. You need to. What's this? Oh, What's this? Check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc: never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean right behind you? Don't peek. So if you didn't yeah. see yourself, is that bad? It's not. That's not true. But. Suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. 
That's right. I'm glad that they actually paid a billions and billions reference. That's awesome. Okay, he so was there's... very famous for that. I... Oh yeah. Yeah, if Neil deGrasse Tyson didn't at least say billions and billions once, I'd have been mad. Yeah, no, I truly enjoyed uh, Carl Sagan's uh, teachings, even though I didn't want, even though I'm not really too much on the uh, like scientist side of things. Yeah. It was always enjoyable. Oh yeah. Uh. Dystopia. Very like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, here and there. Okay, does he believe you're a uh, time traveler yet? I don't think you ever tell him that. I believe I was off entertaining a beautiful lady. You know, I never really got a chance to thank you. I'm sure you would have escaped kid on your own. Yeah. Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that. But I'm talking about Edna. Funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually thought Edna and I disliked one another. Ah. Uh, <laughs> how about that? Uh. Uh, Trust your first impression. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like what they say, you know, how they tell you that a guy, like, on the outside is like a jerk, but on the inside he's really, really sweet. But then there's another another layer inside that he's actually like the first layer. Uh-huh. Kind of like a... Uh, an onion? Yeah. No, no, onions are just the single layer, like, they just go down. Like, uh, this is kind of like, um... A sine wave? Oh, not a sine wave. Uh, there's a food that, like... Like, it's the exact same thing on the inside, but it's just the middle. Huh. Uh. 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 Okay. Social utility? Is this what you care about? The mental alignment meter is a much more worthy project. The what? It was Edna's idea, and she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Wow. And I'm a little confused here. You've only had one. Yeah, I was gonna say it's only been a day. What day is it? Why, it's opening day. The opening day of the expo, which reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back. That's been a couple days then. I think it's been more like a month. Other duck. I don't know. Okay, so now we gotta go. Oh, we finally get to go inside the courthouse. Do we? Fuck yeah. I mean, I've been wanting to do this. Look at this angle. That's an action angle right there. Yeah, da 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 da. Oh, long load. Must be I'm on the right case. Two months late. The expo's about to start, and teenage two months. Oh dang. Yeah. Oh man, there's nothing going wrong. Oh, it's fucked, dude. Yeah. It seems like though it's it's putting them later than they want, exponentially from or from what he picked. Hmm. So since they went back thirty plus years, that's why they're two months ahead. When he only went back six months, he was minutes hmm. so i think if he only went back two months he'd be all right you know um i worry like other than you can say plot armor joke things like that i'm more on the fact that maybe it's like if you jump a timeline you like there's only a certain amount of excess space in that timeline for you to jump through yeah so maybe because they jumped there like four times already in that one spot there's a big enough bubble where they can't jump in there from mm. that point that's never been a problem in the other movies. I don't know. It was just a get. Like, okay, how many times did they do it in the other movies? Like, they went in. Like, I will say, like, about the same time frame spot. Um. Well, they they came to 1985 three or four times, maybe six. Well, those are different timelines, weren't they? No. One one of them was. No, that, that, but didn't they? Didn't one they jump to? So at the very beginning, Einstein left 1986 and came to 1986. Mm -hmm. So that's. That's one. Oh. And then Martin came back to 1986 at the end of the movie. That's two. And then... The alternate timeline was... The alternate timeline, he was dropped off in alternate in 1986. So we won't, we won't talk about that one. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out bubbles, yeah. The only time... And then, and then at the end of the second movie, he's stuck in 1956 at the end of the second movie. And at the beginning, it's not until the third movie that he gets back there. So he goes to 1986... World One, like Earth One, 1986, three times. Hmm. Well, 
Well, while Doc enters the cards of the future, Martin gets ready to talk to Edna. We should probably uh take a take a, a quick breather. All right. Well, now we, then we get to see the World Expo here. Oh damn! It's exciting. It's like a car show. Dude, I actually would have loved to have gone to those expos back in the day, the future ones. Yeah. There were so many cool things. Like apparently, um, there were a couple like condiments that we use now that were actually in those things. Like mustard. Uh, I think no, I don't think charter. Uh, I don't know anymore. I remember I saw Del Mar Fair. They told me they had this list of this shit does that. Anyway. Okay. Cool. I'll try to remember before next episode. Well, we'll check that out. All right. Bye. Bye.